Hi, welcome to our triple check reporter presentation. My name is Nuno Brito and I will be showing you how to create an SPDX report from your own source code. So by this point I would expect that you already visited our website at triplecheck.de and got the tool running. So when you first start the reporter tool this is what you should be seeing. At this point the dashboard is still empty but you can click on the link here to create a new report. The dialog will ask you about the folder where you have your source code files. You just have to click on the first link and then choose the folder with the source code files that you want to analyze. I should note that the source codes right now that we are looking for are for the files itself. It is not for a zip file, not for a jar file. So on this example I will be using jfreeshort that I got from the internet. It is the plain jfreeshort libraries with the source code included, as you can see here inside. I should also note that you can choose the folder with the version number and this is relatively important because it will also be the same name that will be used on your report and it is easiest to identify exactly which type of uh, version you are analyzing at the time. So once the folder is selected you just have to click on open and from here you create the SPDX. The report will then start to look at all the source code files and we'll start to compute the metrics of it, the lines of code, the licenses that were detected. I should also point out that uh, it's not a perfect tool, it's a tool that tries to detect as many licenses as possible, but there are improvements that can be done. So once the tool uh, created the report, you find the summary here on the front page, or you can click here to see the report. Now on your left side you also have a tree view which has the all the details from what was indexed. On the initial dashboard you find the number of files that were discovered, the types of licenses that were indexed and some other metrics. This is usually uh, quite useful for you to discover to have an idea about what kind of project we are talking about, so the technology behind it and also how big it is. The other thing that you can look is that here on the left side you can now browse through the source code uh, structure. You can for example go to the source code folders and start to look at the files within. If you want you can now start looking at more details per each file. Sometimes it is useful to have around the checksum so that you can go online and try to see if there are duplicates about it. If you want to see the contents of a specific file, all you have to do is double click and then you can see the whole text of the file. If it is an image, for example, you can also double click on it and it will also show the image to you. This kind of features are useful when you are looking at your own source code file and trying to determine if it has all the copyright headers on top of it. I should remember that we are using an SPDX document. This is a format by the Linux Foundation that can also come in text to human readable instructions. So if you click here, for example, you can see the full text of it. Each file is, has contains all the data and then the collection of this data is exactly what you see here on the left. If you wish, you can also open your folder and go directly to the place where the reports are located. This is inside the reporters and from here you find your SPDX report. So for example if you wanted to open it with a normal text editor this is also possible. And from here you can now do any changes that you want. So this concludes our presentation. I hope you found it useful. And if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to write me back. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.